Hi, my name is Sean Selders, and welcome to my podcast. I'm in the music production program at Full Sail, and the person I chose to do my interview on was a person by the name of Joaquin Dean. Joaquin is a CEO of a famous record label that you might have heard of called Rough Rider Records. Some of his label artists include Eve, DMX, The Locks, and Swiss Beats. I've known Joaquin for over 13 years and met him through a mutual friend. I have also worked for Rough Rider Records managing their Southern Promotion Street Team. Getting a hold of Joaquin can be challenging sometimes because of his busy schedule. But after several attempts at at trying to contact him, I was finally able to get him to answer a few questions via email. My first question for Joaquin was, what do you see as the role of the visual arts in society today, particularly in your profession? His answer was, the visual arts are becoming more and more prevalent in the urban communities. Kids nowadays are being exposed to art at an earlier age a lot earlier than when I was a child. I see the visual arts becoming more mainstream in the music industry too. Look at John Michael Basquay, for example. This man was a 1980s graffiti artist whose work is now just now coming to the forefront. As a matter of fact, my cousin Swiss Beats signed a deal with Reebok a few years ago to promote Basquay's artwork on a shoe. My second question for Joaquin was, new communications and media technologies make imagery almost instantly available. Do you believe that this is having a positive or negative influence on your field or industry? And if so, could you please provide an example? His answer to this was, I believe that this has a positive influence on the music industry. Take social media, for example. Having imagery readily available enables music artists the ability to connect with their fan base immediately. My next question for Joaquin was, what popular images do you see that are frequently repeated throughout your industry? His answer was, I see music artists often reference and display different versions of the Andy Warhol's four square picture. The fourth question I had for Joaquin was, who is one of your favorite visual artists and what is your favorite style of visual art? His answer was, hands down, my favorite visual artist has to be Basque. Much of the hip hop community can relate to him. Plus, Basque is from New York and so am I. The only type of art I can feel is pop art. My final question for Joaquin was, how has your knowledge of famous artworks influenced your creative process? His answer was, I deal more with the business side of music than the creative side. So I would have to say famous artworks have had a minimal effect on my personal creative process. But what I do know for a fact is that pop artist pieces such as Basque's Cabeza have had profound effects on the hip hop culture in particular. Jay-Z mentions it in one of his songs. In conclusion, I would like to first and foremost thank Joaquin Dean for his insight and the chance to interview him. I have also learned a lot about pop art and pop artists. Because of this interview and the information I have learned, I am now a fan of John Michael Basque. I had no idea pop art played a part in hip in the hip hop community. Well, thank you for taking the time to listen to my podcast and interview.